right, ladies and gentle freaks, we are uh, back at it again after a short little lunch intermission. Weather update, it's calm. It's just kind of a nice cloudy day. There's not a whole lot of wind. Talking to the other people at uh, fish camp, a lot of small fish are being caught. You know, not a lot of giants. One guy did catch a nine on top water about an hour into the day, but most of the fish um, are coming, you know, real shallow of the bank. We didn't fish super shallow of the bank. We're trying to get some bigger fish, but I think we're gonna definitely try more with a jig, uh, try some more Texas rig soft plastics here this afternoon. And I have actually rigged up a little something different here for uh, my weightless rig. I've got a six aught extra, that's a monster hook right there on a 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. This is kind of what I was talking about earlier going up to 50 pound braid on that seven foot four medium heavy, uh, big sexy. And that is really just so that super heavy uh, fluorocarbon lever, leader, that pure leader material will help that bait sink a little quicker. Plus it's got a swivel on it and I got a big hook on there. That's kind of the offset for not having that big uh, or that weighted hook that I liked a lot that I broke off. Plus no stretch and the braid so I can just get a nice easy hook set and that fluorocarbon leader is super tough good for a fish like this do you just have one just got a bite just got a bite first off you still got him I sure do you sure do look at that came back and got it oh. lost him one of the giant but he nailed it two times good good sign on the lizard yep rig that bad boy up and let's get back after it sir there you go. Getting it done on the lizard. It's way to way to hammer down after lunch right there. Okay, lizard lizard's doing work on the bottom right now. Little one. First cast with the swimmer blade, annihilated it. There's another one. A little bit more juice on it, but it's still small. And he threw my bait. Oh, a little hot, turn that down, fishing freaks. We've just, I don't know how many fish we've caught. It's so many. I'm weeding, I'm editing through these, rifling through, trust me, uh, just a lot of small fish right now. We just ended up in kind of a back pocket area and I just wasn't feeling it, you know, even though we were catching a bunch of fish. Just that, it's got that small buck bass feel to it. Uh, so we're just gonna keep running around. I kinda wanna stay more on the main lake fish really close to deep water. I think that's the key to catching these monster fish, but uh, I'm, I'm letting um, letting the guy just take me around to all these different places that he's got. If, as long as it's got steep, uh, steep ledge, deep water next to it, then there should be fish there. So we're gonna keep running around. At this rate, for a few days, we may not have enough plastics. And I got, I got a lot, a lot, a lot. Here we go. We just ran a pretty good ways up this river. The last time we were here, uh, they actually had snow coming off the mountains and the water up here was actually pretty cold. So never got to experience it up here, but I would suspect that it should be full blown spawn, probably post spawn up here already. Water 78. Good fish? Feels good. Oh yeah, better fish. You're my biggest one. Fernando, trolling motor. Pretty big one. Pretty good splash <laughs> there. There you go. Hey, oh, now. Nice. Now you're at Comadero. There you go, man. Nice fish. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, he thumped it big time. Good job. 
Man, nice fish. Is that fun? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Beautiful. There we go. Cool. Good job, Dad. Uh, not real graceful on the release. Great release. One of the better <laughs> ones I've seen. <laughs> His teeth got in my gloves. We've got ourselves a little jig bite going right here. These fish are just spawning on these steep banks. There's one. Oh, man. And uh, we got some stick ups here too, which look really good. And uh, me and LFD are just slowly working this, this little spot. I think there might be a good one in here. Some of this brush. There you go. Just hammering down back there. I think we're on fish 68 or something. Oh gosh. Does that fish have it? It does have it. It was just sitting there. It shook the bush. It just sat there. He's clearly spawning. Oh man. Sorry, little guy. There's another one already. Oh, he came off. That one had a little beef. Had a little beef there, boys and girls. Took you. They're spawners, man. That's twice. Spawners, took, taking your bait. There's one. Get out of there. Right up in the tree where you're supposed to be. Not big at all, but enjoy seeing your lips around my jig. Oh, man. Get a little one. A little guy. Number who the heck knows? I like when it's like that. This bluff has got him. I gotta find a way to get a little bit better bite here. Not the one I was hoping for. He's got a mouthful. Oh yeah. Another jig fish. Certainly know how to tear up a jig trailer. Toss it right up on that edge over there. There he is. It's like right there on the wall. Right on the rocks. They're spawning right on the edge of these rocks. It drops straight down to like 10 feet. Right there, in this little spot right here has got a little nook. There's one. He's got it. I got him. Yeah, he's a small one. There could be a good one in one of these bushes, I think. my plastic new plastic these fish are on beds taking the cross sir yep uh, you esposa see si. form takes us oh goodness that one might have a little beef no mi esposa es ocean spoon girl it's muy bonita god jeez i mean Took my trailer, they're just biting the thank you. One try. <laughs> We're down to one. It's okay, we gotta we'll reload later. We got more. We may have to literally switch techniques here, guys, just from going through so many plastics. I know that's crazy, but gosh. 
bit one of my pinchers off. Boy, they just keep coming. There's just an army of bass on the shoreline. Wish you guys were here to just hammer down. Totally different thing from last time. We were fishing for, you know, very few big bites. This time it's like you just go to the shoreline, certain areas, and you are gonna get lit up. 16 feet right here, these fish are sitting in about four to five, maybe out to 10 on some of them in the trees. Just getting down to business here on the spawn. There's another one. Oh, get out of that tree. Come here. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Every once in a while, yeah, we'll net it. Every once in a while, you get a big one. Got one of them females sitting on the tree, actually. Oh, yeah. There we go now. Yes. Fish is beat up. Beat up from the spawn. Jig just fell right out. All right, there we go. There's one of those bigger ones. I was hoping throwing that jig, I could accomplish that task. I think I went through 37 little ones before that one happened, but uh, that was actually a really fun fight. I had the 65 pound braid. I was actually using Lunker's rod. One of the rods we left down here is super heavy with that one ounce jig and it got tangled up in that brush and I just kept the hammer down on it and got it out pretty easily. Just had to keep that pressure on. Oh, I just saw a boil right off the bank. Oh man. Little one. I think I'm gonna try top water right here. I think I got fluorocarbon on here. This may not work. I've, mm, I haven't caught a fish on this thing, I don't think. I'm not sure who makes it, but it's bone colored and it looks awesome. Guess what? What? You got him? Yes! Dad's hooked up on the fly. Dad is hooked up on the fly. There you go, man. Not a bad one either. <laughs> Dad with his first fly catch. Not quite that five pounder, but uh, hey, it's a start. There you go. I think it's gonna happen, man. Hey, he smoked it off the edge too. Whoo, baby! Done. That's awesome. That makes LFD's day right there. You ain't kidding. If I can catch a five pounder on that, I'm on fire. <laughs> Not kidding you. I think we're on fish like 85 or something like that. It's just getting really fun at this point. Um, I'm gonna stick with that top water. Had a bite on my first cast. Dad just hooked up in the fly. Tons of fish in this pocket. We haven't even covered the whole thing yet. They're just spawning on the bank. I just watched one pop a shad out of the water. So good things are happening. Oh yeah. They're just popping this thing. Look at them popping it. These are all tilapia right here. They're chasing them. Yeah. Dang. Get the next up? Uh, yes. This is a large one on a topwater. On a topwater, I'll take it. Nice one. Boom. Topwater, nice. Yeah, the pause. The pause. Look at it. It is a beautiful thing. To see such a top water in its mouth all sideways like. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. We're gonna let that one go. See ya. See ya, baby. Oh. Take off. There we go. All right, it is time. It's time for top water. Golly, not a 
big one. But geez. down to structure bugs. Deploy. Oh gosh. <laughs> wow, that's a cluster. We're in a net and fish came and grabbed my jig. Interesting. Well, I wasn't recording on that, but I just got a really nice jig fish. Dad doubled up on top water, and we're gonna, gonna get a, a little evening double up picture right here. Fernando, picture? Me okay. and Padre? Okay. Sorry you guys missed that, but that was an awesome moment with Dad. See ya. I thought that fish was really big. Fish pretty good size. Five pounder. Good job. Three yeah, that's five. Just following the similar pattern here, just going down the bank. Entered a little steep spot. We're almost out of plastics. My goodness. We're definitely over a hundred mark. Enough to get me pretty pumped about life. I know that. Last cast has just been completed. Yes. Most fish I've ever caught in one day. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> no doubt about it. Just made our last cast here. We're gonna get a nice pretty sunset going in. Ooh, yeah. We just had that nice double there. It's about a 20 minute run, so we gotta get going, but holy cow. Let's talk numbers. I mean, best five, at least had five, five pounders today. So, I mean, we're, we're probably around 25. Actually, I had a six and a seven, so we're like at 27 pounds or so. Not, not a huge sack, but I tell you what, I have never caught that many bass, y'all. That was insane, and caught them on everything. Had a big one on top water. Had a big one on a jig. Had a big one on the fluke. The fluke game, the weightless plastic game, was going on strong. So, I hope you guys learned something today. I know this was an awesome, awesome time to spend with Dad. Give me another fist pump. And uh, we got more more action to come, guys. So keep it locked right here. I think every day is going to be a little bit different. We certainly learned a lot today. And guys, I just want to thank you for being here. This is an awesome place. I also got to thank Mr. Ron Speed Jr. I booked this trip right away as soon as I got done on the first time because it's that good. Stay tuned for more. Keep it locked. We'll see you on the next one.